Likely the most important benefit of a virtual tabletop is the ease of introducing new maps to your players and allowing your players to explore those maps. And in this video, we'll be showing you how to create a map from scratch using image tiles, then how to create a map from an image found online, then finally we'll go over how to create a map from a published PDF adventure. Inside the map library, we'll press the Create button. Then we'll select the map type of Empty Map. Here we can enter the map's name and module. Now we can enter the size, the grid color, the canvas color, and the Fog of War color. Then press Finish. Once the map is saved, we can open it. Now I'm closing the library, and I'm opening Draw Tools, making sure to be on Manage Tiles, and I just zoomed out. Making sure the auto scale is set to 150 dpi, I can select the tile that I want and place it on the map. And I continue this process until I create a map that I am happy with. For this dungeon, I am using the Gen Con 2014 tiles available in the D20 Pro Marketplace. And I'm also using the Game Master's Campaign Base Fantasy Art Kit Terrains and Overlay Tiles. To save the working map to our map library, we go to the D20 Pro main menu and we click on the Save icon on the top right. Please make sure to save your work frequently. After we are happy with the design, we can save it once again and then close the map. Since no changes were made to this map since we last saved, we can discard the changes. Now to reopen the map we just created using the tiles, we can go to the map library. There are a number of websites to find battle maps for your games. In this example, I will be using this map found on RPG MapShare called Wave Echo Cave Part 2. I'm going to scroll down to the Actions menu, and I'm going to download the photo at the highest resolution possible. Once that has been saved, I'm going to go to my D20 Pro, I'm going to press Create, and then I'm going to choose a map type image from file. I'm going to find where that's located, and I'm going to open it. And there we go. It looks like this grid is designed for 100 pixels per Per square. In here we can edit the name, the module, we can see the dimensions, we can also change the grid color, the canvas color, and the fog of war color. We can change the file name, and we can even change the path where it is located on our computer. And then we can press the finish button. Once the map is saved, we can go ahead and open it. And I'm just going to unclick the grid, and I'm going to zoom out. And that is how to create a map from a file image found online. There are many companies that produce PDF adventures. For this demonstration, I will be using this free Pathfinder Society quest, Fane of Fangs by Paizo. This PDF has a map on page 4, and also quotes the map source as Pathfinder Flip Map Ancient Dungeon. Now if you have access to this PDF map, I would highly recommend downloading it from Paizo directly, as the PDF produces much higher quality results. To make this PDF work in D20 Pro, we go to File, Export to, Image, and then JPEG. Here we will simply repeat the process we have done before. Create from file. Select the image, then press open. This map has a grid size of 150 pixels per square. However, if you do not have access to the high quality map source and must use the map provided inside the PDF adventure, there are a few steps to make this map usable. For a real-time conversion, please see our video titled D20 Pro Tutorial for Extracting Maps from PDF. Here, I'll go over the steps quickly. First, right-click on the map and select Copy Image. Then in GIMP, go to File, Create, from Clipboard. Next, zoom all the way in, and using the Rectangle Select tool, we are selecting the outside line of the grid we can see at the opposing corners of the image. Then crop the to Selection. Next, we use Map Scale tool to determine the best resize value, and then we'll resize the image. Now we can copy the corrected map and place it inside D20 Pro. Here, we will simply repeat the process we've done before. Create Image from clipboard. This has a grid size of 35 pixels per square. Going to the next screen, we can name the map, the module, and press finish. Once the map is saved, we can open it. Now we can compare the quality of each map. Both maps are usable, though it is your choice which method you want to use. This has been a D20 Pro video tutorial. For more information, visit us online at d20pro.com.